Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker. This is my second YouTube video that I'm making and I'm just kind of recording talking about my writing process and currently I've just kind of been struggling a little bit with getting myself to write the books. Not with the ideas. I have tons of ideas in my head and stories. I know how the stories play out. It's just the process of getting what's in my head onto the paper and into the paper. And I started thinking about why do I struggle doing this? And maybe some of you people out there actually struggle with the same thing. So if you do, you can like message me, comment, say, hey, I totally get it. Give me a thumbs up. That'd be great. But I was thinking about it. And um, I think I just have emotional issues of letting go. Like I hold on to my characters. They're, they're a part of me. And sometimes when I'm writing about them, I picture myself being my characters. And that's how I... I write them, I write the emotions, I feel the emotions that my characters are feeling, so sometimes I just don't want to feel the emotions, so I avoid writing to avoid the process of the emotions. And I also, you know, I've been thinking up some of these stories for over 20 years, some of them. So it's just a matter of letting go of something I've held on to for that long and sharing them, and sometimes I feel a little bit embarrassed or scared that you know people will make fun of what I've been creating in my head for 20 years and then it occurred to me that what's in my head is my safe place when I don't understand a conversation when I don't know how to deal with a particular situation when I'm having a bad day when I'm bored <laughs> you know what whatever it is I you know if I feel out of control in my life I can go to this place in my head. I can create stories, relive stories. I can create a world, a place where I can express how I feel when I can't do it in reality, you know, or can say something to someone that irritates the crap out of me that I can't do in real life, or I can kill them off. Like they're this horrible character. I'm like, oh good, they're dead now, but they're not in reality. But it's fun in my head, in my stories, and nobody has to know. It's my safe little, you know, sometimes evil world, right? <laughs> or, you know, nice world, depending on how you want to look at it. Um, but it's where I go to hide away from the world. It's where I go to process sometimes. Um, and it's, it's hard to want to share that. And then I started thinking about, if as a writer, why do I want to write my stories? Why do I want to write my book? I'm like, because I want to see it come to life. I want to, like, let it go. Part of me is like, I need to learn to live in reality. I don't like reality. I like my stories better. So <laughs> we'll be honest about that. But then it occurs to me, you know, maybe writing my stories is a way to share the safe place with other people or this escape from reality with other people. So it's kind of like the idea that if I write this book and other people like what I'm writing and they read it, it gives them a temporary escape from reality. I mean, isn't that why I read books? Isn't that why you read books, watch movies? To avoid reality, to escape from reality, to watch somebody else's struggles, to get hope that, hey, if this person can do it, I can do it, you know? And I want to be able to give that kind of hope and feeling to other people that are are reading my books and I want to I guess feel and give that kind of hope to myself and I've created these characters that have all of the the character traits of myself but that have managed to overcome the ones that I still struggle with that can boldly say whatever they're feeling or thinking and not care about the consequences, not care about the reactions or the responses. And, you know, it's scary for me to write a book and put it out there and let other people read it and critique it. And I'm a needy person. I want, I want feedback, but I want it to all be positive. I want reassurance, you know. And if I send something out to somebody, I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I have anxiety. So I kind of panic and wait until I hear back from them and be like, okay, I can breathe now. And even if it's not exactly what I wanted to hear, you know, like met with my mentor today and she was like nitpicking at my book and I was like, yay, she's nitpicking, which means I'm not making, you know, 
basic obvious mistakes, she has to look for them. So that means my writing's getting better. Yay! But then she starts asking questions about my character and what's the background or why this or how come this character was nice and now this character's mean and what happened? And I'm like, um, I don't know. I just, that's how I wrote the story. So now I have to go back and figure out the answers to those questions. So my short story is now going to be a longer story. Not that I really have a problem creating more detail or adding to the story. It's just I like to get it right the first time. I'm still in the process of learning, just like I'm learning how to do these YouTube videos and putting myself out there. And I guess I feel like I am becoming the characters that I've created in my books where I have to overcome my struggles where I have to share or express how I'm actually feeling and I can't just make it up in my head. I mean, I can make it up in my head. I do it all the time. I have conversations in my head with myself and with other people that have no idea that we're having this conversation. And obviously my characters have conversations and conflicts and all kinds of fun in their life that nobody else knows about. But they will because I am choosing to put it down in my books. So I'm just curious what other people think, I guess. If you want to comment, tell me what you think, what your struggles are with sharing your story ideas or finishing writing a book because it's, I mean, it's easy to start, but then it's that process of how do you put it down on paper? How do I get the communication across? Because I sometimes feel like I don't communicate well, which is why I create stories in my head. And now it's the process of how do I communicate those stories with my writers because I wrote my first book my whole first book and I thought it was fabulous and then I couldn't get it published and then I showed it to my mentor after I met her and she was like oh I can't get through the first chapter and I was like oh this is horrible <laughs> I want to cry and then of course I realized that you know it's okay but she was teaching me that I needed to write the books to the reader so yes I have a good story yes it's a great idea but I need to communicate it to the people that are reading it, just like I need to learn how to communicate with people in real life. So these YouTube videos and other, my website and things are ways for me to learn how to communicate. Of course, it's social media, so it's different. It's still like my just saying what I'm thinking or feeling, which maybe I should look at this as kind of another safe place, a safe way to share or express how I'm feeling because I can't see anybody's faces when I'm doing this. I can't see their immediate reactions or immediate, I can't see your immediate reactions or comments, but I could look at them later when I feel comfortable about it. So it makes it a safer way to interact and that in and of itself helps me to breathe just a little bit. So finding that place where it's safe it's safe to write it's safe to share it's safe to to feel like i have something of value to share with somebody else that maybe someone else is going through what i'm going through or that has their stories and they're afraid to share them and realizing that maybe my story will help someone maybe it will inspire someone else to write maybe it will you know inspire someone else to work through whatever their struggles are or maybe it's something they can just relate to or it gives them a break from reality, which is what it does for me. I love to not live in reality. <laughs> so I often am daydreaming about something, some place, some character in my head. And the more I do that, the more it inspires me to want to write because I want to put it all down so I don't forget it. Or it's like I just get excited about it. And then I want to share what I'm excited about with other people. And hopefully they will be excited about it too. Hopefully you'll be excited about it too. And um, hopefully this video is a little better than the last one. And maybe I'll just keep getting better at making videos like I'm getting better at my writing. And please, again, feel free to comment, make suggestions, or even ask me what anything about my books or anything you want me to talk about. Um, Anyway, I <laughs> that's that's all I have today. Thank you.